Right, welcome back guys. So I'm just going to do a quick, quick, quick tutorial on just showing you guys how to... What is that? What is that? I'm going to show you how to use the Xbox uh, Cloud Gaming. It's a beta at the moment, but it still works pretty well. So let's just get straight to it. So as you can see, I already got it here. But if you go to the store and just simply put in... Uh, you know xbox yeah it comes up straight away as you can see xbox cloud gaming beta it'll say install rather than open install it and then it'll just come straight up so let me click that off so when it comes up just click on it and it'll come up with this it'll ask you uh, do you want to connect a controller uh you don't have to straight away you can go onto the app and sign in uh, first if you wanted to so i'm using a ps4 controller now just a quick w word of warning if you have older gen controllers for the xbox um they won't work because they don't have bluetooth in them so you need to make sure that your control your controller has bluetooth in it now you can use wired controllers but only certain ones so you want to do some research on that because i've got a wired xbox controller and it doesn't work on this the buttons are half of the buttons don't work and when you press one it goes absolutely mental so if you skip if you skip the connection uh, part for the controller you'll come straight to this and then you'll want to go up here and it'll ask you to sign in put your details in i'm obviously already signed in it's it's just like signing into an xbox it's in you know it's, it's simple so then you want to go to here, and it'll ask you to connect a controller. Now I'm just going to press use a different controller for now. So there are your options. So you've got Xbox, PlayStation, Amazon, Luna, which I don't even know that is, or other controller, which I'm guessing is like a third party controller. So just choose which one you want to use. Like I say, you need to make sure it's got Bluetooth in the controller because it will not work, obviously. Now, a quick thing, if that doesn't work and you're trying to connect it and it doesn't come up on here, what you want to do is <clears throat> settings, Bluetooth, and then it'll come up on here. You know, you want to get your controller and activate the Bluetooth pairing on the controller. It's pretty simple to do. Uh, and then it'll come up on here and then you can pair it. And then when you go onto here, uh, it should come up straight away. If it doesn't, restart the, the Xbox app and then it should come up. And that, to be honest with you, is it. But I put my gun tricks down, I'm just going to use my hands. That's that's actually got my PS4 controller in there. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this one. I'm just going to turn that off. I'm just going to talk about these. So that's your Bluetooth. Uh, you don't really need to worry about that. That's to make your screen curved or flat. Um. This is a pass-through, so you're going to get a quick glance at my living room, my Christmas tree. There you go, look at that, my Christmas tree there. And then this one is a just dimmer. So this one allows you to make your room really dark or make it uh, really light. Maybe you, maybe you like gaming in the light. Maybe you like to have the, the visuals of all this around you. Now, another thing you can do is, and I'll keep that light on just for now, just to show you. Uh, another thing you can do is if you go up to this top corner, you can pull it pretty far out and you get a massive screen. It's pretty it's pretty impressive. It's, you know, it works really well. So I'm signed in, I'm using my Xbox control. Uh, my, I'm using my PS4 control right now to do uh, to control this, not the uh, little Oculus nunchucks. And we're just gonna go on to a game so i'll show you call of duty uh just to show you what the quality is like all right so we're on so as you can tell if, you, if you're a call of duty player you know what this is about go to call of duty 6 multiplayer find a match and i'm just gonna show you what it's like to play on the headset on this. So I'm just gonna turn that off. Now I've got my full screen. Boom, 
at that full screen. So I am now literally sat on my sofa and I'm doing a quick pass for I'll show you. So there I am in my living room. And uh, so it's now loading, five seconds to go and I'll just show you a quick game just to give you an example of what it's like to play. Hello, there's my hands, holding my control. <laughs> Here we go. Team Just a quick 10 second, 10, 15, yeah, 10, 15 second video. Just to show you what it's like. Now naturally, naturally you've got a really good internet. Mine's half decent, but if you've got a really good internet, you won't have any kind of lag or any kind of jittering or anything like that. This isn't too bad. Obviously the more complicated games it is a bit more jittery and a bit more gritty. And that's it guys. Just thought I'd show you a quick game on here. Is it? And I'll just what I'll do is I'll just exit Enemy that. drill charge. And that is it. So you can move this screen wherever you want by pressing the meta button. Press and hold it. You can move it there. Maybe you want it over there. Yeah, it's just, it's as simple as that. You know, I can walk over here making sure I don't crash into anything, obviously. And I can just play it from a distance if I want a big screen or whatever. So yeah, just check it out guys. It's really easy. It's really simple. Any questions, just let me know. Thank you.